Well, good morning everyone. It's uh, July the 7th, 2011. I'm making this video at 9.20 Central Time. This is Arthur Mill from Dallas, Texas, and look what happened overnight. <laughs> Around midnight last night, we had an, an M-Class flare. It was an M2.5, which is a pretty stout flare. And here's a, an awesome picture from the SDO satellite, the Solar Dynamics Observatory, and it shows just the massive explosion it's just wham and then look at all this trying to fall back or that does fall back to it and as, as we get some more today that means it's still really kind of in action as far as falling back the we have to watch for the the later on today as the, we get more images in but um, this takes us through uh, generally during the time period that the uh, flare itself was happening um, again, just some uh, awesome pictures. I mean, when you, <laughs> it's amazing that we can get such good pictures these days of a flare in process. Uh, it did produce a coronal mass ejection uh, that was traveling about mm, a little over a thousand kilometers per second. Uh, it doesn't look to be exactly Earth directed, although one this large a lot of times can be. You know, we can be clipped with it, so it's very possible that. Uh, in the coming days we'll see that probably affect us uh, again just letting this run here just to show you what I want to show you now though is uh, just besides the coronal mass ejection uh, we are also now having a S1 solar radiation storm and uh, I talked about solar protons yesterday and of course now today they're way up let me show you here's the uh, GOES-13 proton flux um, flare happened a little after uh, midnight central or yeah almost midnight central last night and uh, as soon as it happened look all three bands of this go shooting up and so that gives us an S1 solar radiation storm so energetic protons see they were already in agitated before as I talked about yesterday and again I'm not sure where that background was coming from but this is the perfect sign of a proton flare so uh, interesting there just just to see again from the uh, uh, just the explosiveness of that flare here's a quick look at the uh, GOES x-ray flux and it shows when the flare happened again it would have been almost midnight central time but boy it went from like almost nothing down in the B all the way up to an M2.5 so very impulsive, very decent uh, flare for just when I was thinking the sun was semi-quiet for a little while. That's the way it happens. And then here's a look at the uh, induction magnetometer from the HARP facility in Kakona, Alaska. And we can see that um, so far there's no correlation. Of course now the screen has to update while I'm looking at it. There's no correlation of any extra static or anything showing up here when the flare actually happened. Now if we have a geomagnetic storm later due to the CME it's possible that we will see that come up later but at the exact time looks like uh, HARP just kinda hums along at its pretty regular stage there. Okay here's some uh, Lasco imagery I showed you again this yesterday uh, you'll have to excuse that interference that like that happens right there that was interference from yesterday uh, anyway uh, this is a good example of showing you another thing that I talked about yesterday was seeing the static on the screen that comes in little dots was from the solar protons that were happening already but after this flare watch how they increase extremely so that was yesterday's little coronal mass ejection here comes the big one and it's it's immediate as you see the, the satellite sees the solar radiation or it detects it immediately no this is not a spaceship uh, that is probably mercury I believe uh, a lot of times it's we catch it in transit going across so uh, don't freak out not a spaceship there uh, again just interesting a very powerful I mean, not powerful, powerful, but a, a, enough to form an S1. I have seen it where this get, becomes so bad that it saturates these and we can't see anything. 
but again, a good flare that caused some great static at the end there, wham. So all those little dots you see are actual protons uh, hitting the sensor. And you see some of them are like, as they fly by, it catches them. So some of them are smashing into it, some of them are going by it. Just a, a nice impressive flare, a nice, a nice example of uh, an M-class flare on the sun. And again, it was since it was mostly directed in this direction, we probably won't see too much. Although I do see almost a, a, a halo CME. That's where we can see it in all directions here, right there. And right after it happens, let's look again here. Bam! Yeah, see, I see some that flies out even in this circle, the side of the circle. So uh, I would expect that in uh, in the next a day or two, we will see uh, uh, geomagnetic conditions become disturbed again. Anyway, just thought I'd have to get that on there today because I woke up and noticed that we had a solar proton storm going on. Anyway, y'all have a good one.